find the domain of p of x equals the square root of x squared plus 2. We don't have any fractions, so we don't have to worry about denominators equaling to 0. But what we do need to make sure is that the radicand is greater than or equal to 0. So we need x squared plus 2 to be greater than or equal to 0. Now, I'm going to claim that this is always going to be true no matter what x is. And to see that, what I want to do is subtract 2 from both sides of the inequality. That leaves x squared alone on the left. And then on the right, this is greater than or equal to negative 2. Now, we know that if we take any number and square it, we're going to end up with something that's either positive or 0. It's not possible to square something and end up with a negative number. So if we pick any number for x, like 3, we square it, we get 9, which is positive. Negative 2, you square it, it's 4, it's positive. Uh, negative 7, we square it, it's positive 49. And then even 0 squared is 0, which is not negative. So this quantity on the left is always going to be positive or 0, and that means it's always going to be greater than or equal to negative 2. In fact, it's always going to be greater than negative 2, no matter what x is. So in this situation, any number is going to work here, and so our domain is all real numbers, which we write as the set of x such that x is a real number. And that is our domain.